my eyebrows a little bit. They don't need to be completely covered. But I used a glue stick and I flattened down my eyebrows and I covered them. Then I covered them with concealer. So yes, um, I haven't really done anything to my face yet. That's because I'm be painting it red today. Um, I'm a little worried about the red paint, but we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> so yes, um, first I'm be starting off with red paint. I'm going to be painting that onto my face, maybe onto my ch all my chest area right here. So yes, let's get started. sweeter now but that's because I haven't done anything else yet so next I'm gonna be painting black underneath my neck I'm be using some water activated face paint and I'm just gonna paint right underneath here So now next, I'm going to be drawing on the eyebrows with some black eyeshadow. And I'm going to try to go for more, I'm going to go for more of a like a more curved out look basically. Kind of want to look more angrier than usual, so yep. applying some black eyeshadow onto my eyelids. I'm gonna be applying it and then blending it out and until I get the amount that I want. And I might even blend it out with some red eyeshadow as well. So yes. So I finished up the top of the eyeshadow and I added a bit of highlighter period it's in pink so it's a pink highlighter and I applied it with my pinky and I just kind of tapped it on a little bit rubbed it on and also thing with the eyeshadow it's kind of hard to blend with the face paint already on because like, it kind of takes off the face paint so what I did was kind of like just kind of like tap the eyeshadow on to make it look a bit blended a little bit but this, eye this makeup doesn't have to be like 100% perfectly clean because you know, it's me like a devil. No, no, no. It's gonna be kind of spooky and scary looking, cool, you know. So yeah. Okay, now next, I'm gonna be adding some eyeliner onto my water lines. <laughs> okay, now next, I'm gonna be adding the black eyeshadow again underneath, except not underneath the eyes and I'm gonna be doing the same thing I did. I'm just gonna apply it and then try to blend it out but again I can't really blend it out as well because I'll re remove the paint so it'd be better if you just kind of tap it on. I'm gonna be doing the eyeliner and I'm gonna be adding some eyeliner right here into the corner.
putting some black lipstick onto my lips. contour with black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna line down and blend it out a little bit. Okay, so the next I'm applying some black glitter onto all black paint on my neck and I'm just gonna be applying it on my finger. glitter onto my body right here. My next eye painting these random little black lines underneath my lips, kind of like as if I think blood's soaking out a little bit. Applied some false eyelashes. These are like the biggest ones I have. I thought they would look really cool with this look. But next, I'm applying some vampire teeth onto my teeth, of course. Um, these I don't know where I got them from. I actually, I really don't know where they're from actually. But they're kind of small and they're perfect, and they actually go along with the my teeth color. So I'm gonna be applying these on, and they're kind of hard to talk with these afterwards. So I'm sorry if I'll be hard to understand, but I'll try my best. And I'm gonna put on the other ones. But also, I made bottom teeth. I made them the leftover poly beads. They come with the vampire teeth, so you can like fit it onto your tooth. So I had like a bunch of those. So I made some. Oh, I almost dropped it. So I made some teeth to go on the bottom. So that way I'll have top, top and bottom teeth. So that'd be pretty cool. I'm putting on some horns, so let me zoom out for y'all guys and scoot down. These ones I made for my Maleficent tutorial, so if y'all want to go check that one out, y'all totally can. But first, I'm teasing up the hair, and I'm also gonna be filling in black right here so I can blend into my hairline. 